Hey guys, what's up? Jinx Rose here, and welcome back to another Minecraft how-to video. In this one, I'm going to show you guys how to make icons like they have on the Yogscast videos that show you, you know, who's playing and who's talking and all that good stuff. This, uh, this was requested by JJMPE Gaming, and he said, "How do you, or do you know how to do the icons like the Yogscast?" So I've been messing around a little bit, and let's open up my Photoshop. And here's what I've got. This is a custom one for me, with my little Irish chin curtain. And here's the transparent one because you want it to go transparent when you switch people. And here's the one for Keshwag, and here is his transparent one. Now, I'm going to assume, probably wrongly assume, but I'm going to assume that you guys have already seen my how to make drawings of your characters video, or drawing or wallpaper of your Minecraft skins. I don't remember what I called it, but assuming that you've done that, you already know how to make a drawing of your Minecraft character. If you haven't, you might want to go check that out, because this is not obviously of my Minecraft character, or of Keshwag's Minecraft character. These are just, I did these for fun. We may not even use these ones, I don't know. But, all right, so make a drawing of your character, or you can use any image you want, actually. It doesn't really matter. And then uh, file, and then new. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do something really similar to that. So I, know, I, I like going with 800 by 800. It's just what I like to do. And 72 resolution, I don't know why I choose 72, but make sure that the background contents are transparent. Now that means that you can only do that, do this in uh, Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net, anything that allows for transparency. So you can't do it with uh, Microsoft Paint or anything like that because it doesn't allow for transparent images and you really need that to be effective in this. So let's, uh, let's place your drawing, whatever drawing you've made, whatever image you've chosen, place it. And then hold shift while you're dragging it to make it larger because when you hold shift all the dimensions stay the same they stay even with one another and then hit enter to place it now your next step is going to be creating a new layer in order to do that you come down here and go up to new layer or the shortcut which is what I almost always use is control shift in and that'll make a new layer and you want to make two new layers now on your first layer you want to grab the ellipses tool which is right here, this line. See, it's not the ellipses tool right now, it's the line tool, so you want to hold it and then pick the ellipses tool. Now, with the ellipses tool, if you don't hold shift, you'll just get like an oval and it's really hard to make an actual shape out of it. So, you want to hold shift after, this is also important, after choosing what colors you want. So this one is going to be black. You just hit X to switch between these two. Now, this one, I want to have like a Minecraft sky color. So we'll go with a blue like that. Okay, so hit X again to switch these colors. Hold Shift and create a circle. You can make it any size right now, it doesn't matter. Now hit X again and switch to your next layer. Hold Shift and create a circle. Again, any size doesn't matter. Go up here to your little uh, pointer and center it. There we go. Now what I like to do once you get this made is control click both of these right click and merge layers then when you hit control T to free transform and hold shift you can make this any size you want and both of them adjust at the exact same time so let's get this moved out of the way for now let's just move it down here now let's say you just want this guy's head alright so you would come up here to this little crop square and I think there's even elliptical but I'm just gonna go with a square so and then you crop out his head like that. Control C to copy. What? Oh, I'm on the wrong. Go here first. Control D to remove that. Alright, highlight his head again and Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Now there's like a double thing going on there. Now you can make this invisible or you can just right click and delete the layer. Now that you've got this, you want to put this layer above the shape. That way it'll show up in front of it. And then, here's the fun part. You get to place these. And then, let's say you want to make it look like he's just coming out of the circle or something, right? So, what you'd want to do is you want to move his head like that to where it looks like he's coming out of it. Control T on the shape and make it small enough to where it looks like it's just his head and his shoulders and stuff. So... Like, I'm going to go right there, and then I'm going to place it 
right there. Okay, now, the reason I told you to put this layer above this layer before is because now you can hit the eraser and zoom in. I'm going to go like 500%, just zoom in really far. And then you can adjust this with the brackets or with the brush size up here. I just use the brackets. I think that's what they're called. Don't quote me on it. And then, oh, wait. Select the layer with the head on it. There we go. And then you can just erase all of this that's sticking out of it without having to worry about erasing the black. So get this as close as you can. And I'm going to purposely mess up to show you guys that it's... Well, I'm not going to mess up that badly. Hold on. I'm going to purposely mess up to show you guys that it's easily fixable. I'll do it. Yeah, like right there is good. Or you can always control Z to undo. I'll do it right here to show you guys that it's always repairable. You can always fix it when you mess up. And like it's almost bound to happen. I mess up all the time when I'm doing stuff like this on Photoshop. So once you've got that, see now it looks like he's behind the circle. Now you can just do the eyedropper tool, grab the color you want, grab the brush, and brush it back in. Easy and simple. Grab this one. Brackets to make this smaller, like that. And then we'll fix a little bit with the neck. And you can always use the shortcuts too. I think B is brush, stuff like that. So now, even though it looks kind of messed up, when you, when you hit 100%, that's going to look pretty darn good, right? So, I mean, that's basically all the steps. Then you want to control click both of these and merge these again so that you can edit them together with one another. So, like, you want to make it bigger, you want to make it smaller, you can do whatever you want with it. So there's your solid image. You'd want to click File, Save for Web and Devices, and then save it as a PNG image. Either PNG 24, PNG 8, doesn't really matter which. Just save it. Make sure you go ahead and click Save. And then uh, you can come down here to Opacity, drop this down to about 50%. And right now it looks like you, you can barely see it. But that's because there's nothing behind it. Keep in mind that it's, this is a transparent image. If you had something behind it, that would show. But it would look transparent. So, yeah, that is the first step. You want to save this one too. So you've got the solid image, you've got the transparent image, which is exactly what they do in the Yogs, Yogs cast. Yogs, yeah, Yogs cast. So, yeah, that's exactly what they do. Then your next step is going to be opening your video editing software. Now, you can't do this in... Windows Movie Maker, although I wish you could, and it's something that they should make a possibility, but they don't. So anyway, yeah, that's how you make them, and I will be back in a minute with AVS open, and I will show you how to continue from there. Alright guys, here we are inside AVS Video Editor. Keep in mind that this can be done in other programs as well, such as Sony Vegas, uh, Adobe Premiere. Uh, I think maybe even After Effects and a couple others. It can't be done in Windows Movie Maker because it doesn't allow for multiple videos to be shown at the same time, which is what you need. I just found that AVS is one of the cheapest and one of the easiest to use. So I'm going to import media files. No, I don't want to save anything. Import media files. Okay. Videos. And I'm just going to toss in my intro. Toss an intro. There we go. No. Now we can import the images that I just that we just created. So we'll do the solid one and the transparent one. Alright, now. So this will be just this video, right? So here's your main video line. And here is your line for video overlays. Okay, so this is where you're going to put, or that's where you're going to put this image, your line for video overlays. All right, now let's extend this out a bit. No, I can't. Um, duplicate object. I'll just duplicate this a couple of times to make this long enough to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, now you want to right click this and edit overlay if it allows me to. The last time I attempted to do this my screen started flashing colors on me and it went really crazy. So we'll see what happens. 
Alright guys, well the video overlay has finally popped up. So when this started out, I've been messing around with it a little bit. When this started out, it was right in the center and it was fairly large. So what you can do is you can resize it and move it to where you want it. Also, this offers transparency. So we can ignore the transparent images we've made earlier or we can use them, whatever we want to do. So this one's going to be solid, right? And I'm just going to go click OK. And I have imported Kevin's or Kschweig's images as well. So and I've come down here and created a new line by right clicking on the video overlay line and clicking add line and uh, it created this line down here so we'll put Kschweig's down here and we'll extend them both all the way to the end of the video which this video is really short and then edit overlay again and then you can place this one where you want it when and if it pops up this program's being really iffy right now. There we go. It went all black and then showed back up. So then we can make these about the same size. Just do our best to. It's good enough. And then click OK on that one. Now that we've got both those on there, that's what it's going to look like. And it hasn't been rendered, so it's going to look really low quality. But once it renders, it'll look really good. So. Then we can come down here and we can split the video. Right, well, for some reason it's not letting me split the video. Maybe I have to zoom in a bit to split. Guess not. <laughs> anyway, so they're both solid right now. But the way to do this would be edit overlay on the one that you don't want solid. And then you would mess with transparency. You can go 50% with it. You can go 75% with it. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to go 75 with this one. So that's what it'll look like while the video is playing. And then you can switch them simply by clicking on a video. And then you should be able to split. I don't know why it's not letting me split. But then splitting it and then switching the transparencies around. So you just need one of these images each. And then you can do it the entire video just by splitting and messing with your transparency. Let's see if I can duplicate this and get it to... Yeah, see, it's split for some reason there. So let's decrease the size of these. Now, come on. Decrease the size of these to right there. No, dang it, come on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And then we'll move these down. And then we will switch this one to not transparent. It'll take a little while for it to open, and it might go black on us again. Okay, it didn't. Switch this one to not transparent, and switch this one to 75% transparency. When and if it opens. There we go. So they'll stay in the same position, they'll stay the same size. The only thing that'll change is their transparency. Now if we go back to the beginning and just let this play, and I'm going to turn the volume down on it. But yeah, if we just let this play, this is solid for right now, and this one's transparent. J My Jinx Rose is solid, and Case Wags is transparent. And right about now, they switch, and My Jinx Rose becomes transparent, and the Case Wag then becomes solid. So, <clears throat> yeah. There it is right there, guys, and hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. Alright. And there you go. Yeah, that's how you do it, guys. So I've shown you how to make it how to make these icons and how to put them in your video and switch transparencies and stuff like that and if you can't get it to work this way that we had going down here you can always you know the uh... if you can't get it to work by splitting it and making it transparent you can just add the transparent images in which is one of the reasons i told you guys to make it just as a backup so you've got it and yeah so you know how to add it to videos you know how to make them so there you go hopefully it's been really helpful guys if it has been go ahead and leave a like um, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, go ahead and click subscribe. And also, if you guys have any questions or comments or any more ideas about how-to videos that I should make, just go ahead and let me know. I really want to help you guys out with anything that you got going on, Minecraft, YouTube, any how-to questions you can think of, honestly. I'm more than, more than willing to answer them because I want YouTubing to be fun and easy and I want Minecraft to be fun and easy too because that's what they're supposed to be.